All right, here we go. Have you ever skied? I'm from Detroit, man. We don't, okay. ski. We don't ski in Detroit. All right, Mr. Detroit. Uh, give me your favorite Motown group. Oh, shoot. Everybody would say the Temptations. Okay, you're in with them? Yeah. Okay, you're going to go with the group? All right. I never know. You might get a Four Tops or you get a get a Supremes when you go through there. Uh, can you do a Reggie White imitation? Yeah. Perfect. Right. One word and you got it. It's fantastic. By the way, what was KU's record against Missouri while you were there? I have no clue. Two and two. You may have beat the brakes off us, but only twice. That's all I'm saying. Uh, not a lion. How about a red wing piston or tiger? Any of those teams that you followed? Bad boys. Got a favorite guy? Oh, man. Uh, uh, Rick Mahorn was my guy. Because he was the enforcer. I like guys that enforce. Mm -hmm. By the way, I met Rick. He did not want to punch me in the face, but these these things happen. Well, you uh, you, you must have didn't talk too much. Probably not. It was <laughs> it was a very quick time. Uh, you're 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 removed from the game, but does anything still hurt? Oh, everything still hurts. There's nothing that don't hurt, man. You wake up, you wake up, and you find something new. Mm -hmm. Um, why do we cut the Gilbert Burger in half? So you can grab it. I mean, I mean, if if you pick it up whole, it's not gonna, it's not gonna. Um, mm -hmm. You just got slop all over the place. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, have you ever been to the wheel in Lawrence, Kansas? Yes, I have. Have you, Trevor? I don't even know what that is. Nope. You want to tell him? Do I want to tell him? Yeah. No, nah, because I probably got some DNA or somewhere in that place. I don't want them so nothing. Understood. That's good. Uh, John Force or Don Perdome? John Force. Really? I thought Cruz, you would really, thought... really, really, really cruise Petrogram, but I, I, okay. I'll, I'll go with John Force. Okay. Cruz just... is my guy. Cruz is my guy. How come? Because I know him. Okay. Just because you're boys. I know him personally. Cause, okay. Because you're boys. I just thought maybe age range, the snake was probably right in your wheelhouse. No. Cruz. What is it you like about getting in and, and getting under a hood and working on an engine? There's nothing like driving down a beautiful ride, a beautiful road, no bumps. You mm -hmm. had guys with music on. I turn my music off and listen to their engine purr. That's what my, and, and you know, here, here's the crazy part. I'm driving one day and I'm doing that and I got the music on. My 14 year old son turns the radio off. I said, that's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> I love that. Uh, tell me a Brett Favre story. I can't. Okay. Very good. Is that because you did too many or you're, you're worried about a PG-13 rating? Both. Very good. I'm going to tell, tell you this, man. I love me some Brett Favre. And and he did a he did an event for my foundation and different things. And 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 regardless of what people say about him, he's my teammate, and I love him, and 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 I'm uh, and he's just one hell of a guy. Last one for me is why is the anti-bullying thing such a big deal to you? Because you basically because, made your job out of bullying people on the field, right? Like yeah, that's what you did. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did it legally, um, uh, because I was bullied when I was young, you know. And um, it's it's really uh, it's really one of those things that's near and dear to me because. If you want to be real about it, man, these kids are hurting themselves because of it. And and to me, uh, football, the football team was the was the savior for a lot of kids because they would they would come to that team and get that family structure or that team group. So I enjoyed it. And, and, and I love I love that I can get out on my platform and help some of these kids out. So I appreciate it. And what is the message when you get in that room? to both the kid that thinks he's cool because he's doing it or the, the kid on the receiving end? My message is that a, a, a bully needs an audience. If you don't give the bully an audience, it just dies. You see what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. if you feeding that bully, you feeding the crap that come out of his mouth, he going to grow. Don't feed him. Let him die. Let him be stupid by himself. Man, I love that. Silence is power. I've yeah. learned that in my older years. I'm 40 now, and I did not know that my first 15 years of being an adolescent and an adult, but 
I can tell you that I have settled into this idea of just shutting up, and it is gorgeous. Yeah. 